Welcome to Fresh Catholic Daily. Today is September 29th, 2024, 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses. Taking some of the spirit that was on Moses, the Lord bestowed it on the 70 elders. And as the Spirit came to rest on them, they prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and the other Medad, were not in the gathering, but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list, but had not gone out to the tent. Yet the Spirit came to rest on them also, and they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Joshua, son of Nun, who from his youth had been Moses' aid, said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses answered him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets, would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Though your servant is careful of them, very diligent in keeping them, yet who can detect failings? Cleanse me from my unknown faults. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. From wanton sin especially, restrain your servant. Let it not rule over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of serious sin. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, Weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away. Your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded. And that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned, you have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. 
For whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the Lord bless you and Jesus Christ be in your heart, now and always.